Hi guys, and welcome to another video. And in this lesson, we're going to be looking at cells, tissues, and organs. Now, there are something called multicellular organisms. Humans, plants and animals consist of these multicellular organisms. And what this means is that chemical reactions take place in different cells. Multicellular organisms also have a level of organisation. In other words, we're organised in terms of cells, tissues, organs, and organ systems. There are also unicellular organisms. Unicellular organisms all the chemical reactions take place in one cell, so they don't need this level of organisation. Well, let's take a look at the relationship then uh, between these levels of organisation. We know that cells become specialised quite early on in their formation, and they become specialised to carry out a specific job. A group of similar cells that carry out the same job are called tissues. For example, we have muscle cells. Muscle cells, um, a group of muscle cells, will make muscle tissue. A muscle tissue is responsible for contracting and relaxing. And it's that contraction and relaxing that enables us to move. We also have epithelial tissue. And epithelial tissue is what lines um, the internal organs and it's also uh, the cover of our skin. And we also have something called glandular tissue. Glandular tissue is responsible for creating and secreting hormones and enzymes. Well, next in our organisation is organs. Organs are made from several tissues. And an organ is designed to carry out a specific job. For example, if you look at this organ here, hopefully you can recognise, that this is the stomach. The stomach is made up of several different tissues. One of those tissues is the glandular tissue. Remember this glandular tissue is responsible for secreting hormones and enzymes into the stomach. We also have muscular tissue in the stomach because that tissue is what churns our food during digestion, and the stomach will be lined with this epithelial tissue. Now, an organ system may contain several different organs, and those organs will work together to carry out a function. For example, we have a digestive system, the digestive system consists of the small intestine, the large intestine, and the stomach. We also have um, the nervous system, and the nervous system consists of the brain and the spinal cord. So we have all these systems working together to make the whole organism. Okay guys, thanks for tuning in. See you